The mystery of President Trump's taxes took another turn on Tuesday after part of his 2005 tax form surfaced, showing that he earned more than $150 million and paid $38 million in federal income taxes. Investigative journalist David K. Johnston obtained what he claims to be the first two pages of Trump's federal income tax returns. The documents show that the president and his wife Melania paid $5.3 million, less than 4 percent of their overall income, in taxes along with $31 million in the so-called alternative minimum tax. They also owed $2 million. That's a rate of about 24 percent. The document shows he was able to lower his tax rate by writing off a $100 million loss in his businesses. That same year the future president married his current wife, founded the since-shuttered Trump University, and was hosting The Apprentice on NBC. Trump has previously refused to release any of his returns, breaking a decades-long tradition, claiming he was under audit. The White House broke its own rule by releasing a statement Tuesday confirming the numbers reported by Johnston. You know you are desperate for ratings when you are willing to violate the law to push a story about two pages of tax returns from over a decade ago, the administration said in a statement. Johnston, who speculated that Trump himself could have leaked the returns, joined MSNBC's Rachel Maddow to discuss the documents. Trump is desperate that we don't see where his money comes from. Johnston told Maddow. Sources of income and connections to the Russians are just a few things that Donald Trump has to hide. In November, Johnston stated abundant evidence shows that the IRS and the New York State Attorney General should initiate criminal investigations of Donald Trump, his charitable foundation and his personal tax returns. Throughout the campaign, Trump claimed he was under audit by the Internal Revenue Service and therefore unable to release his returns. No evidence has ever been presented proving that Trump was under audit, and the process itself does not prevent someone from making their returns public. The White House's willingness to release some tax information when it suits them proves Donald Trump's audit excuse is a sham, Democratic National Committee senior adviser Zach Petkin has said in a statement. If they can release some of the information, they can release all of the information. The only reason not to release his returns is to hide what's in them such as financial connections with Russian oligarchs and the Kremlin. The little information known about Trump's finances paints a cloudy picture of his overall wealth. In 1995, Trump declared a questionable $916 million loss on his income tax returns. The large deductions could have allowed him to avoid paying federal taxes for up to 18 years, according to the New York Times which received a copy of Trump's state returns for that year. The three documents, the first page of Trump's New York state resident income tax return, the first page of a New Jersey non-resident tax return and the first page of a Connecticut non-resident tax return, were also obtained by the Daily News. The newly uncovered pages from Trump's 2005 returns show that he continued to benefit from the loss and use it as a tax credit. During his first presidential debate against Democrat Hillary Clinton, Trump proclaimed that not paying federal taxes made him smart. As president, Trump has continued to stand behind his old excuses for the secrecy surrounding his taxes. The only people that care about my tax returns are the reporters, Trump said. Clinton and former President Bill Clinton paid 35 percent of their income in federal taxes in 2005.